Biohazard warning. Entering contaminated zone. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. What's going on, agents? Sly here, and thanks for checking out another Division video. It's Saturday, and that means new weapons are to be had all over the map. So join me as we take a look at pretty much every weapon vendor in the game, and let's see if we can pull out any hidden gems. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. It's Saturday, February 25th, and this is your last Division Weekly Weapon Restock Guide for 1.5. All right, so hope everyone's weekend is off to a kick-ass start. Now, I can't believe that here in North Carolina, it's actually 81 degrees, man. I mean, did I mention it's February? I never had to run the AC in February, like, ever. The world is changing, my friends. Anyway, speaking of change, we now have a date for 1.6, and it is very, very soon. This coming Tuesday, February the 28th. In the last week's date of the... Oh, shit, I never recorded for... <laughs> Oops. Anyway, I never recorded a state of the game last week to broadcast it. So, anyway, I'll get on that as soon as I can. Damn, I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> Anyways, to be honest, I'm kind of already bored with 1.6, guys. I mean, is that a bad thing to say? I mean, it's not that big, and most of it's PvP-based. Besides the awesome incursion, that's about it. Weapons, armor, it's all pretty much old news now, and that is kind of disappointing. Now, there's a fine line between using your players as a test base and keeping your game fresh, and personally, I don't think they've found that yet. Anyways, enough complaining. I know you gamers out there on Xbox and PS4 are way past ready for it, and I'll be hopping on my Xbox for, on Tuesday just for that reason. Anyways, let's get to it, guys. As always, we'll start up here in the base of operations, then we'll head downstairs. After that, it's the tour to safe houses, and then we'll check out the DZ. All right, y'all ready? Well, let's take a look. All right, so as usual, we're going to skip by everything up the top, and sidearms, don't do sidearms. And first up is a burst fire MP5A4 for about 1.7 million credits. 33% critical hit damage, 800 rounds per minute, 32 in the mag. Talents are fierce, adept, and brutal. This actually isn't too bad, guys. Now, of course, Fierce is electronics locked. Right now, that's a problem, but I'm assuming, you know, when 1.6 drops, it won't be. But all in all, this isn't too bad of a gun. All right, well, next up, Enhanced ACR. For the same 1.7 million credits, 23% enemy armor damage, which is awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the ACR is a pretty good weapon. I actually use that along with my FAMAS all the time. 760 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag, unforgiving, deadly, and sustained. Not bad, but it could use a little help. Next up, the Beastly Shotgun, the Military M870. 308.5% stagger, 75 rounds per minute with 5 in the mag. Talents are ferocious, competent, and unforgiving. While it's not too bad, it's not exactly, you know, a Beastly Shotgun. It would need a lot of work, and since M870s are pretty much, you know, everywhere, you can find them, like couple of them every week I wouldn't really bother on buying one next up an M700 carbon 148% headshot damage 54 rounds per minute 7 in the mag talents are capable toxic and elevated yeah that's not too bad the carbon is actually a pretty good sniper rifle and while these are decent talents I think I'd want a little more harder hitting all right and next up and our final one here at the Armory, a military MK46. 13% damage out of cover, 550 rounds per minute with 100 in the mag. Capable, swift, and dominant. Uh, I'd pass on that, guys. Alright, so we're going to head downstairs and check out the special equipments guy, and then take a look at the blueprint vendor after that. Following that, we'll head around all the safe houses and then check out the DZ. So, Don't be shy. Wow, there's nobody here. Cool. Alright, well... Let's take a look. Feast your eyes on my and as usual, we're going to skip all the ones that are normally here and the sidearm and head up for the very first one, which is the Enhanced AUG A3 Para. It's 1,248 Phoenix credits, 34% critical hit damage, which you know is mediocre, 725 rounds per minute, 25 in the mag, talents are accurate, destructive, and competent, which isn't too bad, man. This is actually really good. If you can switch out competent for something else, say brutal, maybe even fierce, you'd have yourself one deadly AUG. Now, of course, the critical hit damage could be a little bit better, but nonetheless, it's a great SMG. Definitely something to keep an eye on. All right, next up, we have another lightweight M4. These are definitely coming around more and more. 22% enemy armor damage, 850 rounds per minute with 30 in the mag. 
talents are accurate, vicious, and self-preserved. Also pretty decent. Self-preserved, of course, could be switched out, but it's you know, a pretty good talent in itself. If you love high rate of fire weapons, then the lightweight M4 and the LVOAC are like brothers and sisters of each other and definitely good weapons. Not as fast as the FAMAS, but still pretty damn fast. Alright, next up, a Tactical 90 SBS. 334% stagger, 150 rounds per minute, 8 in the mag, capable, sustained, and swift. Those are actually pretty good stats for a shotgun, guys. Of course, it could use a few upgrades, but, you know, what gun doesn't? And next up, a hunting M44. 161% headshot damage, 55 rounds per minute, 5 in the mag. We have destructive, ferocious, and adept. Also, not too bad. And finally, here on this list, we have the black market M60 E6. Pretty low, 11% damage out of cover, 500 rounds per minute, and of course you have an ass ton in the mag, 100 bullets. Capable, self-preserved, and sustained. Now if I were you guys, I'd hold off on buying any kind of armor or, or weapons or anything like that, because there really is no point until 1.6 comes out, which is going to be this Tuesday. But still, if something good pops up, you still want to snag it, because everything will carry over, of course, and since there will be no gear score upgrade, then everything will still be relevant. So, it's always worth taking a look. All right, well, so next up, you like. let's go take a look at the Blueprints, dude. What's up, man? All right, so, not looking good. We got a PF-45 sidearm, which is doo-doo, and then an M870, which is good, but it's been sold, like, you know, ten times over the last, like, two months. We also have a stamina knee pad blueprint and then an electronics glove blueprint. In my opinion, not really worth 500 Phoenix credits. All right, well, that wraps it up for everything here in the base of operations. Next, we're going to go take a look at the tour to safe houses. We're going to go check out all the safe houses that have weapon vendors in them and see what's good in there. So first up, we're going to start off with the crypt. And here we have a lightweight M4 for, again, 1.7 million credits. 20% enemy armor damage, which is, you know, still okay. 850 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag, capable, determined, and ferocious, which, of course, you know, needs some work. Next up, we're heading over to the grind house. Let's see what he's got. And excuse me, she has an M700 Tactical. Again, 1.7 million credits, 168% headshot damage, which is pretty good, guys. 54 rounds per minute, 7 in the mag, meticulous, toxic, and elevated. Uh, nothing that special. Don't worry, I'll have... Next up, we're heading over to the last call. And again, we have another M700 Tactical. 147% headshot damage, which is lower than the other one. 54 rounds per minute, 7 in the mag, of course. They're identical, prepared, balanced, and elevated. This one is better in terms of talents, but the headshot damage is definitely less. So, if you could swap out one of these for Brutal, you'd have yourself a pretty decent M700 Tactical. Alright, so next up, we're heading over to the porn studio called The Meat Locker. And here we have a Tactical SA-58. 19% enemy armor damage, which is kind of low. 650 rounds per minute with 20 in the mag. A ton of damage, but again, this is the three-round burst weapon. Talents are competent, talented, and determined. No thank you. And next up, so we're going to go check seen. out the base of operations once again, because I always forget that this dude exists. All right, and here we have another AUG. This one is a tactical A3 para. 29% critical hit damage, which is kind of low. 725 rounds per minute with 25 in the mag. We have capable, ferocious, and adept. Again, it's it's okay. The one downstairs in the base of operations is way better. All right, so hey, next up, we're going over to the hub, the Camp Hudson. And here we have a covert SRS. 156% headshot damage, 53 rounds per minute, 7 in the mag, talented, accurate, and prepared. And covert SRSs are definitely better than they used to be. So this one might actually might be worth picking up. Change out talented for brutal, done. Alright, so next up we're going to go check out Kerman Station. And here we have another Tactical Super 90 SBS. This one has 305% stagger, 150 rounds per minute, 8 in the mag. We have sustained, ferocious, and predatory. Eh, a lot of healing stuff, but like I said, shotguns are everywhere. Just like sidearms, I'd wait for a better one. Alright, and our final stop here at the Tour to Safe Houses is over to the Wolves' Den. And this guy here has a paratrooper SVD. 
142% headshot damage, 260 rounds per minute, 10 in the mag, intense, unforgiving, and then disciplined. There are way better talents than this, and even though the Paratrooper SVD is a pretty good weapon in the next update, I would definitely wait for a better one. Alright guys, well that wraps up everything at the safe houses. Next, shopping, we are going to go take a look at the Dark Zone. And of course, first up, we're going to go deep inside the Dark Zone and check out the weapon vendor here on 39th Street. So, let's go take a look. So first up, we have a converted SMG-9. 36% critical hit damage, which isn't too bad. 825 rounds per minute, 32 in the mag, vicious, meticulous, and fierce. This actually is not too bad, guys, and this little weapon is actually pretty beastly. It'll surprise you if you ever mess around with it. Unfortunately, it's critical hit damage, and in the next update, it'll be critical hit chance. I don't know if they're going to retrofit all the other guns. I doubt it because they didn't do it last time. So, unfortunately, this will stay behind, but not a bad weapon right now. Next up, regular old ACR. 21% enemy armor damage, which is pretty good. 760 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag. We have adept, accurate, and predatory. Also not too bad. It could use a few sprucing up talents, but uh, all in all, not a bad weapon. Next up, another M870 Express. This one is sub 300% stagger, which is no-no. 75 rounds per minute, five in the mag, dominant, adept, and sustained. Everything, like every shotgun has sustained this week for some reason, every single one. I'd skip it, of course, it's an M870. By the blueprint, you can find like your perfect roll. Next up is SOCOM M1A, 171% headshot damage, which is pretty good. 300 rounds per minute, 10 in the mag, commanding, determined, and talented. Also, the damage here really doesn't, doesn't do much for it. For me, it should be at least above 50,000 to make it something worthwhile. And this one, as you can see, is not. Commanding, determined, talented, yeah, I'd skip it, guys. Really nothing good here. And finally, we have a black market RPK-74. 11% damage out of cover, which is kind of low. 650 rounds per minute, 45 in the mag. Accurate, capable, and vicious. Also not too bad. It could use, again, a little help, but what gun doesn't? All right, well, that's it for the weapons vendor here. You're gonna Next, this. we are going to take a look all around the dark zone and see if any checkpoints have any good weapons. Now, of course, I skip a few of them because not all weapons are awesome, and this video would be, like, you know, 30 minutes long otherwise. So... Let's take a look at our first weapon. All right, so starting here at the top left. Ooh, there's a bunch of rogues out right there. <laughs> All right, let's start at the top left, uh, West 53rd checkpoint. Hey, stupid, take a look. We have a black market RPK 74E. 13% damage out of cover, 650 rounds per minute, 45 in the mag. Talents are deadly, competent, and accurate, which is pretty good, guys. Even with competent, it's still good. But if you take that out, get something like Brutal, of course, you make it even better. All right, so next at the West 46th Street checkpoint, you need to look at this. You break it. We have a tactical UMP 45, 36% critical hit damage, which is pretty good. 600 rounds per minute, 30 in the mag. Talents are adept, determined, and ambusher. The talents aren't that good, but I believe the UMP in 1.6 is going to be pretty decent. So, might be something to take with you. All right, so next on the West 39th Street checkpoint, which is the same one we used to get into the uh, <clears throat> the Dark Zone vendor, yeah, we have ourselves a tactical AUG A3P once again. And this one's not too bad. 36% critical hit damage, 725 rounds per minute, 25 in the mag, like usual. Talents, accurate, adept, and fierce. Also a really good weapon. I mean, even with Adept in there. Adept is pretty awesome, but unfortunately it is electronics lock, so if you can find something else that's not it would make this weapon even better. It's good the way it is, but unfortunately, not a lot of people have electronics to open up Adept. So it is what it is, but still a decent weapon to take a look at. All right, so at the West 34th Street checkpoint, we have ourselves a pretty decent SMG-9. It's 32% critical hit damage, 825 rounds per minute, 32 in the mag, talents, brutal, skilled, and deadly. Now, if you have enough electronics, you can squeeze in Fierce in there, because I'm pretty sure the middle talent will make you use electronics if you put in Fierce. If you have that, you're going to have yourself an awesome SMG9. Otherwise, it's not too bad the way it is. You're just going to have to mod for critical hit chance. All right, and our last weapon is here at the East 46th Street checkpoint. You look like you need my help. And here we have ourselves an MG5. 12% damage out of cover, 800 rounds per minute, 
50 in the mag. Competent, accurate, and talented. And while it's not that great in terms of... Uh, well, actually, the weapon isn't all that good, but, but I still love it. Accurate on an MG5 is pretty awesome, plainly by itself. I mean, anything else you get after that is just a bonus. Accurate and MG5 seem like they were like made for each other. So you add that, maybe, I don't know, throw in some Brutal, and you're still going to have yourself a pretty decent MG5. But, alright guys, that about does it. Sorry everything was kind of crappy this weekend. <laughs> it seemed like there was really no beastly weapon to talk of, and everything else was pretty mediocre, but, you know, that's how weeks are. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. As always, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at SlyNation, or even on my Facebook page, at Gaming. It's kind of lonely, I just made it not too long ago, so I would definitely appreciate it if you check that out. Anyways, keep an eye out for more Division videos coming out from Sly Nation here very soon, but until then, this is your boy Sly, and I will see you all next time.